hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is amanda and today i am doing my everyday makeup look or my go-to makeup look i hope you guys are going to enjoy this um this video it's not a tutorial but i just thought i should share how i do my go-to makeup look i hope you are going to enjoy it and uh please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed so now let's just jump straight to the video Okay, so um, I normally start with priming my face first before doing the brows or anything. It makes it easier for me when I start with priming my my face. I am gonna go in with this Revlon Rose Glow Mist. The spray just went like funacon. I'm just gonna rub this all over my face I like to go in with this because it just gives my face a nice glow and it hydrates my face especially since I'm gonna be using like a lot of powders I want to make sure that my face is like really really like moisturized and my skin is hydrated and I'm not going to feel dry or cakey the prime I'm gonna be using today is also from Revlon it is called photo ready prime plus and it's for mattifying and pore reducing just gonna rub it on my hands before rubbing it on my face the reason why i say it makes it easier for me to prime my face before my brows is because i'm able to go in all over my face and just rub my face and touch it the way that i want without having a fear of like disturbing my brows the next step now is to do my brows. Just gonna brush my brows up with a spoolie. And I am going to set my brows first before going in with the brow products. And I'm going to be using this Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. This is really, really good in just like laying your uh, brows flat. But it's just that it's very glossy. It makes the brow product slide when you apply it. And I don't like that. But it is like actually a good product. You can even just use this on its own and not apply any product. Okay. I'm going to press it in. Like I said, like this leaves like a really glossy finish and i don't like that and sort of makes it a bit difficult to add in any other products so i'm going to go in with a powder i am going to uh, use my black opal invisible oil blocking powder using a powder brush i'm just going to blot just to take off that shine now I'm gonna take a clean spoolie that doesn't have any gel and just brush making sure that the brows are keeping the shape that I want which is just my natural brow shape but I want to make sure that my hair is still laid off of that I normally use the eyebrow pencil or an eye pencil from um, Essence, which is the Essence Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Hot Chocolate, but I honestly can't find it anywhere. They don't even have it at Take A Lot, so I don't know whether it's discontinued or what, because I've been struggling to get it. And oh, where is it? The last piece that was left just fell on the floor, and it's brown. The carpet is brown, so I can't find it little piece that I needed so since I don't have an eyebrow pencil anymore and that's the only eyebrow pencil I'm comfortable using I'm going to go in with this wet and wild pomade is it pomade or pomade I, I forgot what this is called but I think it's called a pomade <music> I'm just going to fill in my brow by doing hair like strokes 
it looks really messy right now and i didn't really do much here but i do want to fill in this gap because it looks like there's just like a little bit of a gap here that i want to fill and then i'm gonna brush it out to clean and shape my brow i am going to use the elego pro hd concealer in the shade fawn and to blend this i'm going to use my shader brush I use like different products to set my brows yeah like sometimes I'll use a gel or something but the product that I've been loving lately is, is this Revlon color stay color stay brow fiber filler and what I like about it is that it's got little fibers that fall in your brows I'm just going to fill them in where I see that there's a little gap like here I see that it's a bit gappy then I'm just gonna go in with this product I'm also just gonna brush up my brows here without putting in any of the fibers now I'm gonna go off camera and do this brow and then I'll be back to do the rest of my face we are done with the brows and now we are going to move on to the foundation and I'm going to be using two foundations these foundations are my go-to but sometimes it's also it also depends on uh, the type of look that I'm going for today I just want like a full coverage I want long lasting makeup because I'm gonna be taking pictures after this so yeah when I want a makeup that's gonna last me all day I go for these foundations right here I mix the Maybelline Superstay Active wear foundation this is the 30 hour one and it is in the shade 63 this is too cool for me you know, actually it's too warm for me and this one from catrice this is the catrice true skin hydrating foundation this is in the shade cool espresso too cool for me it sort of like turns a bit gray i don't like that and mixing them together sort of balance uh, they sort of balance each other out and um, yeah really really like the the shade that I get from mixing these two I actually do have reviews of both these foundations if you're interested to see how they look or find out how I feel about them just check out those videos I'll try and leave them in the description box or link them up um, in the cards so that you see them just two pumps of the Maybelline and one pump of the Catrice. I'm going to take a brush and mix them together like so. I don't want to mess up my nails with foundation so I'm going to pick up the foundation with the brush. Guys, I did my own nails. Tell me what you think. These are stick on nails from Shein and I applied a uh, gel nail polish. I'm gonna blend with the brush today because I want a full coverage finish. And I also avoid uh, putting foundation under my eyes because um, when you put too much product under your eyes, your eyes tend to, uh, to crease like your under eye so i avoid putting a foundation there it's gloomy but it's hot that's just annoying because you never know what the weather is like then i'm gonna take whatever is left on the brush and brush it on my neck and my ears because my ears are exposed i'm just gonna blend with my sponge just for that seamless finish but this brush is very good like it does not leave any straight lines it's just that i am sort of a perfectionist i got a like a painful pimple here it's so annoying oh. now i'm going to highlight my face and the step hasn't changed i still use my l'oreal infallible more than concealers and i still use the shade 335 
and uh, 338 335 is a light and I use this to highlight under my eyes I saw this um, on TikTok and I think it works it really really does work you just put concealer on the corners of your of your eyes and I'm also gonna use the same concealer on my nose and then on my chin my forehead and here I'm going to use 338 you really need to buy makeup but the thing is I can't find them so probably take a lot but I'm gonna keep check for Shini because we don't have this came here really don't have enough product but gonna go in with the side of my sponge and blend this out and I'm gonna take my foundation brush and blend around my concealer just to kill the lines of demarcation blend in the concealer I don't drag it because I want it to stay where I put it to set my concealer I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Candid photo ready anti-pollution setting powder in the shade banana and before going in with the powder I'm going to go in under my eyes and make sure that I kill the crease lines Take my powder with this flat side of the sponge and then just dab it at the back of my hand and go in. I'm just tapping off the excess powder at the back of my hand. And I'm not baking, I'm just setting i'm gonna go in again with a little bit more powder this time i'm just gonna be pressing this powder in i'm not going to let it sit on my face i'm gonna go in with powder in all the areas that i concealed or highlighted i set my nose because it sweats and I set here on my smile lines because sometimes it will just, you know, when you smile and then this area will crack. So setting it with powder like this helps. I'm going to take my brush and dust off the excess powder. And I'm going to go in with a small brush just to dust off the excess powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Neutral Light. I'm not sure if I should still be using this powder. It's quite old. I think it's like three years old, but I don't have any um, contouring powder that I can use besides this one i need to go buy more makeup products i am going to contour my face with this maybelline fit me this is in the shade um espresso going to wrap the excess powder here before going in on my face and i'm just gonna tap this blend it out I'm gonna go in with the soft velvet powder from um, 
Le Corpo. To get rid of the white cast that's on my face, I'm going to go in with my MAC Dark Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. This is on the shade Dark. Contour my nose before I forget. And I'm just gonna kill the lines with my sponge. I'm gonna take my powder again. Just define my nose contour a bit more. That I'm done with my powders, I am going to set my face with my Nivea Rose Care Hydrating Face Mist. After that, I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is from Revlon and it is in the shade Very Berry. This is a very pigmented so I try not to go in with too much because it can go south pretty quickly. And for highlighter, I think I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Skin Light and the shade Twilight and also this tester that I got from Catrice. Okay. It's in the shade uh, 010 and I'm just going to go in with the shade that's in the middle. I was actually supposed to do my eyes before doing the highlighter. Um, but it's fine, it happens. I'm gonna go in with one of my old palettes. This is from uh, Revolution. It is the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever Palette. It's just a neutral palette. Mm. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here because I'm no longer a fan of uh, oh pigment. I'm no longer a fan of like eyeshadow especially shimmer i don't know maybe i'm going to go back to it because we are in like warmer seasons now like shimmer is very nice when um like in summer or when it's hot but i've just been into my mats this is just how i prefer my eyes one color Mats and neutral. I'm so tired. I even forgot about my eye coffee. The eyes of my total. It still tastes pretty good. Taking a small shading brush, I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow color and blend on my. The, on the bottom eyelashes taking the same brush I'm gonna go in into this brown shade here and I'm just going to take that color only on my eyelids sort of like I am creating a wing but not really just gonna wing it out like so just here by my, what do you call this guys? Just here by my eyelashes. Just to create a shadow. The eyeliner I am using today, it is this one from Catrice. It is the 24 hour brush liner. This has coconut water. I'm 
mascara I'm going to be using is this Essence Maximum Definition Mascara. Then I am going to line my lips with the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade uh, Chocolate. Then I'm going to go in with uh, the Catrice Med Pro Ink lipstick in the shade my life my decision interesting in the sense of my lips i'm gonna go in with this catrice semi matte lipstick this is in the shade Rose Leslie Romantic. I'm going to put on my eyelashes now and the eyelashes I'm going to be putting on are these lashes from Shein. I don't know the name. I don't think they have the name. If I do find the link, I will link them in the description down below. But they are very dramatic and the reason why I'm going in with dramatic lashes today is because of the hair i don't have any hair so i thought maybe let me just have a little bit drama on my face the glue that i am gonna be using or the only glue that i use it is this one the kiss glue sometimes i use the the white one or the one that's in the white bottle but i haven't seen that in a while while i wait for the glue to get tacky i am going to uh Highlight the inner corners of my eyes with this Revlon highlighter and also highlight my brow bone. finally done with this face this is how my go-to makeup looks like like normally when i do my face i look like this maybe sometimes not with the lashes because the lashes are too dramatic and i'm looking at myself i'm like i haven't seen myself looking like this in a long time because i've been wearing my natural eyelashes from clicks love those i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a, a big thumbs up comment down below um and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and i will catch you guys on my next video bye